สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the Middle Way Meditation Retreat. My name is Emmy, and I will be your guide to understanding Thai Buddhist culture. In Buddhist society, bowing is a form of showing respect for the monk. It is also a way of showing your promptness to receive teachings from the monk. However, bowing is not a form of worshiping. Let me introduce and demonstrate to you the correct manner of bowing to the monks. For male, begin with the kneeling position, placing your weight on the knees, and sit back on raised heels. Bring the palm together loosely into the lotus position, with your back and your head straight in one line. Raise the joint palms to touch the central point between the eyebrows and both thumbs. Bend forward gradually with your hands apart with a distance of one palm width. The palms are turned face down until the elbows meet the knees and the forehead touches the floor between the hands. Now for the female. The sitting position is slightly different from the male because the body rests on the shins with the feet flat on the ground. Bring the palm together loosely into the lotus position with your back and your head straight in one line. Raise the joint palms to touch the central point between the eyebrows with both thumbs. Bend forward gradually with your hands apart with a distance of one palm width. The palms are turned face down until the elbows meet the ground, just outside the knees, with the forehead touches the floor between the hands. Would like to demonstrate how to offer meal to the monks. Monks are not allowed to eat unless the food is offered by lay people. This is one of the disciplines created for monkhood by the Lord Buddha. This is because the Lord Buddha did not want monks to spend too much time enjoying too many kinds of food. The decrease of greed will lead to the decrease of desire. Therefore, monks only eat the foods that are offered to them. And in turn, they use that energy to solely perform good deeds. For male, you simply kneel down and place the dish directly into the monk's hands. For female, you kneel down and place the dish on the yellow receiving cloth. The reason for using this receiving cloth is to prevent physical contact between monks and females, which is one of the monastic disciplines. After the monks have received offerings, they will give blessings to lay people. The blessing is in Pali language, which is basically a blessing for a long, healthy life, prosperity, and good luck. When we hear the monks chant, we place our hands together into the lotus position in order to receive the blessing and show our respect. But if you don't feel comfortable doing so, please sit politely and remain silent. At the end of the chanting, we say satu. Which is a Pali word for acknowledging the blessing. In Buddhist culture, satu means excellent. It is to show acknowledgement from receiving blessing from the monks, or encourage others to continue to practice doing good things. The appropriate greeting for a monk is namasakan krab for men and namasakan ka for women. 
Sawadi is used when lay people greet each other. Now let's take a look at how to greet monks in the right manner. Namaskar. 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 And these are the basic elements of Thai Buddhist culture. But if you have any questions, feel free to approach any of our staffs. I hope you find inner peace during your stay at the Middle Way Meditation Retreat. Sawadee Khat.